happy Friday to you and welcome to Hope Today. It is a fantastic day for you to be joining us because the energy is high. You can see we've got our tennis shoes on, our workout clothes on. This is not a program to be sitting on your couch watching us. This is going to be a day to get up and use your body to move and worship the Lord. I'm Anna. I'm here with Matt and Sydney. Sydney, tell us a little bit about our awesome guest. Yes. Well, you know what the Bible says in 3 John verses, chapter 1, verse 2, be in health just as your soul prospers. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Wellness in your mind, body, and soul. Brooke Daniels, aka Brookie Trinity is with us today and she's going to help you tap into your mind, body, and soul so you can not only feel and live your best, but so you can also better serve those who you love around you. Brookie is a wellness advocate and a personal trainer. She's also one of my dearest and best friends and she's going to share tips on how we can love ourselves better through our health. And we're going to get moving too, so stick around. She's going to do a five-minute workout routine that anyone of any age, any level can do right in the comfort of your home. So Anna was right. This is not a show to be sitting back. We're, you know, here a little bit about Brooke's story, but I know, Matt, you enjoy working out and looking fit too. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's so funny. I, I have to laugh and, and my friends laugh at me. When I'm at the gym, I'm like listening to devotionals, you know, like listening to sermons. Awesome. And they're like, when most people are listening to pump up music, but I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of defeating both or the best of both worlds here, you know. Mm getting ripped in the physical, but then yeah. ripped in the spiritual, you yeah. know, at the same time. So there's nothing wrong with that, right? Right. No, that's exactly right. And I actually love that you say that because so often we are taught through all the marketing of the world that, um, that our wellness is really something that we have to find the determination, the willpower to just do on our own. But have we ever like shifted that mindset to realize that God cares about your desires to be strong, to be healthy? Do we pray? Do we ask the Lord to empower us, to give us the motivation? And when we're struggling with emotions, so often we do this emotional eating, right? Like, do we stop and we allow the Lord to make minister to our emotions and continue forward in those goals. I just saw recently the number we have just slightly over 300 days left in this year and many have set health goals at the beginning and have already died off, but it is not too late. Come like on. you still have yeah. plenty of time left this year to be crushing those health goals yes. and today's gonna get you started. And I think it is so important, you know, one thing I know for me, so Matt, I'm the complete opposite. I cannot listen to like the sermons <laughs> and the devotional. So God bless you, power to you. But if we're in the gym together, I am definitely listening to like Christian hip hop. Like that is a time where it's just relief stress and anxiety. And so we just wanna encourage you today, you know, no matter what your level is, maybe you go into the gym a couple times a week. I know Pastor Bill Glaze, he's um, the pastor on hard questions. So he's in the gym, so he loves working out too. Or no no matter what it is that we just want you to enjoy, have fun, and it's a great way to connect with God. You know, the Holy Spirit, the temple of our, our bodies, the Holy Spirit lives and dwells there. So it's so important that we take care of ourselves. It's another way that we extend our worship to God. Cause I know um, Anna and Matt, when I'm on the treadmill sometimes, there's been songs, like if I'm going through things or I'm walking through a valley or going through a hard time, I don't know what it is, but I'll just be like, yeah. you know, and it just, it really does, does something and drops those chains and makes me yeah. feel free and excited. Right. Yeah. Yep, that's yeah. all right. Well, as much as it's spiritual, it's also physical, right? Yeah. And so sometimes you got to relieve the stress out on the treadmill. So, mm -hmm. hey, well, as much as I'm excited for every one of you guys to watch us work out on the screen, I'm also excited for things that are out on the big screen. So as many of you know, the new Jesus Revolution movie was released in movie theaters last week, and it's continuing to make a huge impact. It's still playing in theaters, and we want to encourage you to go see it this, with this new trailer. Check it out. Our country is a dark and divided place. But in that tent, there's hope and unity and miracles that I can't even explain. I'd like you to meet my new friend, Lonnie Frisbee, and some of his friends. Welcome. These kids are runaways, most of them. Yeah, they need our help. Chuck, stop. They don't belong here. Agreed? There's this church. It's called Calvary Chapel. 
When we say we're looking for truth, what if this is true? Because everything that we've been trying is not working for me. I just can't be let down again. What I felt in there, I haven't... What if it's good for a minute and then it's gone? What then? We can find out together. Seems the movement's everywhere. Los Angeles, even in the South. It's spreading like wildfire. Is this the beach where people get baptized? We drove all the way here. Where from? Texas. I don't know if any of this is real. I kind of hope it is, to be honest. It's a family man. Don't give up on it. This film looks so incredibly powerful. I have been hearing that it is so well written, that it is moving, that it has such an inspirational message. And if you haven't put it on your calendar yet or gotten into the theaters, make it a priority because our dollars really send a message to Hollywood to know that these are the kind of films that we want to see. I have not gotten there yet, but I certainly plan on attending. I've just been hearing so much good about it. So. Yeah, it's time for we to experience not only a revolution just in our culture, but also in our personal lives. And that transitions us into our next conversation. Super excited. Brookie Trinity is an NASM certified personal trainer, semi-pro bikini bodybuilder, and wellness advocate. She's the founder of Trinity Squad, a wellness community that empowers members to tap into their minds, body, and souls, and always do their best so they can better serve others. She's joining us today at Sona Fitness in Chicagoland in Evanston, Illinois. Brookie, it it's such a joy to have you with us today. Hi team, how's everyone doing today? So excited to be chatting with you guys. Well, we are so excited for you to be joining us. And Brooke, you know, you are my dearest friend. I love you so much. And just can you tell a little bit of our audience a little bit about of who you are? <laughs> awesome, of course, Sid. So team, I do have to tell you, me and Sydney go way back. Uh, we went to college together. So I've known Sydney for about over a decade now, but Brookie Trinity, um, is, you know, the birth child of purpose. Um, everything from bodybuilding, personal training, and my wellness journey has been grounded in the Lord. Trinity for me is Father, Son, Holy Spirit, but, you know, as a whole, it's mind, body, soul. It's So it's the way to have the holistic view of fitness and wellness. It's all about nutrition. It's all about movement. It's all about how you're feeding your mind. So it's it's a holistic journey, and for me, it's it's the catalyst of how I can better serve others and invest in myself. And it's been beautiful to see you birth this book. And can you tell us a little bit about the backstory of how God birthed Brookie Trinity inside of you? For sure. So, so ironically, it started in Pittsburgh. It started um, from a prophetic word that I received um, at a church session that I was actually at with Sydney. And one of the elders had shared that the Trinity was within me. And at the moment I was like, hey, what is going on? It was a point in my life where I was kind of at a crossroads. Um, so that prophetic word always stuck with me. Um, apparently Pittsburgh is the city of new beginnings. So I am a full test testimony to that, to that statement, but definitely began in Pittsburgh. Um, and that is where I also embarked on my bodybuilding career. So Sydney did mention that I'm a semi semi pro bikini bodybuilder. Um, and that is where I competed in physique competitions. So that um, doing that also instilled discipline, consistency and resilience. Oh, there's the image. Yes. So, so three, those three facets have helped me um, kind of bring to life everything for Trinity squad and investing in others so they can better serve themselves and others. And I love it so much. It's so beautiful to see what has been birthed like from Pittsburgh and now that you're bringing it all over. But you know, one thing Brooke, you know, with Trinity Squad, it was birthed because of community. And there was a time where you felt like you really needed community and were going through certain things. Can you tell us about that personal story? Of course. So, so I shared that I lived in Pittsburgh, but after Pittsburgh, I moved right to Chicago and this was right before COVID. 
Um, so, you know, obviously COVID happened. I was in a new city. I was, I was with, you know, familiar faces. I was actually with my partner, but at that moment I felt very, you know, isolated and, and very anxious, even though I was around other people, I felt, you know, out alone at times. So Trinity squad was actually catapulted during COVID. And I was able to utilize things like zoom, like, like Instagram and bring these wellness movements to others. So during a time when I needed community the most is when I was actually able to bring Trinity squad to life. Um, so in a sense that isolation really had me lean on, on God and my faith a lot, a lot more. And I was able to birth this community where, I mean, look at it. I'm at a gym right now in Chicago. I've been able to bring this life from virtual to in person. So it's just, it's just been a holistic blessing. It surely has been. And I was able to take part in during, like, I remember COVID during the Trinity Squad. And man, yes, was, you were. Yes, you were. You, was, he was not playing with any of us. It was really intense, but it was like a really beautiful thing. I think there was like 30 or 40 of us, like, over Zoom and working out it was just a beautiful thing of community. And one thing, Brooke, I love that, you know, when it comes to wellness and goal setting, this is a philosophy that you have and that you say it is essential to shift your mental narrative and practice positive self talk that is part of that so how do we put that into action what would you say to someone who's watching right now that is dealing with anxiety feels that depression is just going through a really rough time what would you say to them in this moment that they can do today to break free of that for sure so that self-investment all starts with looking at your daily routines right how are you starting your day um how are you how are you incorporating your positive self-talk throughout the day and then how are you ending your day for me it's about starting my day with worship, talking to the Lord. And for someone else, it might look like prayer. It might look like journaling. It might look like, hey, stretching or, or getting your body warm so you can actually, you know, feel equipped to start the day. Um, it's the same thing with, you know, meetings that you might have or, or touch bases, right? It's about having that allocated time throughout the day to invest in yourself, whether you might need a five, 10, 15 minute touch base with yourself, with the Lord and stepping back and kind of recalibrating. So for me, it's about those, all those little nuggets throughout the day to make sure that you're calibrated, um, to make sure that you're meeting your goals, right? Because sometimes we invest so much, in, so much energy into our jobs, into our families, which we should do that, but you should also be investing in yourself. I love that investing in ourselves, it's so important. And calibrating ourselves first with the Lord so everything else that flows out of that is beautiful. Exactly. And well. well, speaking about everything being beautiful, good, don't go away because Brooke is about to go, get, we're about to get ready to do a five minute workout team. So join Matt Ann and I. We're going to get on our mats. You get moving too. So we'll be right back and let's get moving. We'll be right back. <laughs> When Laura called our 24-7 prayer line, she had so much fear that she didn't want to leave her house. She had lost her husband of 54 years just six months earlier. Laura was flipping through TV stations when she came across Cornerstone Television. She felt compelled to call. One of our prayer partners talked, listened, and prayed with her for 45 minutes. At the end, Laura said how much the ministry had helped relieve her fear. Praise God for how He is using CTVN. When you give, you become part of what He is doing. This month, when you give, we'll send wild expectance as our way of saying thank you. This book will inspire you to live your life as God intended. To give and request your copy, visit us online at ctvn.org slash donate or call us at 888-665-4483. Hope happens here. We're so glad you're joining us on Hope Today. We just wrapped up our conversation with Brookie Trinity. She's a wellness advocate. She's a personal trainer. And Matt, Ann, and I, we are stretching. We're getting ready to go. So we hope that we have our mats. You see it right here. Get ready. We want you to join us right from home. So Brookie, take it away. We have a five-minute workout routine. Walk us through. Okay. First, Matt, Anna, and Sydney, are you guys ready to work out? Yes. yes. We are. <laughs> okay, awesome. So for today's workout, we're gonna go through a five minute Tabata style hit workout, okay? So I want you to put all your anxiety, shake it out of your arms right now. 
So let me explain to you what a HIIT workout is. High intensity interval training, okay? You can do this with weights. You can do this with your body weight, which we're going to do today. So Tabata is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I've got four moves for us today, working our different muscle groups, okay? So we're gonna go through those four moves, three rounds. The first round is really for us to get acquainted with the moves. And then the second two rounds, you're gonna be the experts with the moves. And then the last ones, we're gonna progress a little bit and we're gonna get sweaty just a little bit, okay? So are you guys ready? We're gonna start yes. with a body, body weight squat. So you can be on your mat or off, depending on what space that you have. Feet are gonna be under your shoulders, okay? All the moves that we're doing today, you're gonna pull your belly button in. I always love to use this reference. It's like you have skinny jeans on and they're a little too tight. Okay, so stand up nice and tall, feet under your shoulders, and you're just gonna sit in your imaginary chair, okay? All your weight is in your heels, and then you're gonna come up and squeeze in the back, okay? Keep going with this. All right, like I said, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Oh, you guys look so good over there. Do we have good okay, when you come up, <laughs> stand up nice and tall. All right, we got 10 more seconds here, and then we'll go into move number two, okay? All right. So here's side view, belly button's pulled in. Nice long spine, three, two, okay. You guys shake it off. I'm gonna demo move number two, lateral lunges. Standing up nice and tall, lunging to the side. One leg goes straight, sit in your heels. Come back to the middle and run it on the other side. Toes remain forward the entire time. Okay, 20 seconds. Three, two, let's do it. Oh, you guys look so good. We're Brookie approved, this is awesome. I Brookie see that. approved. <laughs> My poor hammy over here. Yeah. All right, we're halfway. <laughs> and it's a testimony to you can work out anywhere, right? That's you right, don't yeah. need weights. You don't need a gym. All you need is the alignment to move, okay? Three, okay. two, okay. So shake it off. We're going to take it down to the mat. Good old push-ups, okay? Oh, Working Jesus. our triceps, oh, our chest, all of our upper body. <laughs> so wrists are going to go right under your shoulders. Guys, I have horrible wrists, so I like to make fists. All right, okay. here we go. Okay. This is what we can do. Plank position, so <laughs> knees off or on the ground, doesn't matter. I just want that flat back. Chest driving towards the mat <laughs> and come up. Keep that belly button pulled in. Ooh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Keep going, Matt, Anna and Sid. <sighs> Ooh. I know, these I can feel. Oh, yeah. They do modified. They, they, they might want to use our mics. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I had too All right, much now we're going to over. Okay. We're flipping over to our back. We're working our core stability and strength. Okay, okay this move is called a dead bug. Okay? Flat back, head on your mat, arms straight into Ooh, the air. We got our mic packs. Like extensions. Back there. <laughs> <laughs> One at a time. All right, Ooh. 20 seconds here. Oh, Keep yeah. that belly button pulled in. Okay, you got those jeans that you put in the dryer. They're a little too tight. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had a milkshake oh, yesterday. Yeah, we're I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more extension. Okay, stand back up for me. Okay. We're going to go right back into those squats. All right, thumbs up. How are we feeling? Good. Mm -hmm. All right, right back into it, okay? At the bottom here, give me a two second hold, come back up to the top. This is great. Okay, so you're sitting in your chair, you're like, do I wanna sit down? And then you're like, no, come back up and squeeze. Okay? This is great. Good work. Is it showing Three. my age and my knee popped? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Matt, mine are cracking over here too. All right. Shake it off, we're gonna go back into those lateral lunges, okay? When you okay. lunge to the side, hold it two seconds, and then you're coming back up, okay? Three, two, let's do it. Nice. You okay. guys are looking so good. You guys are the experts. Oh, wow, well, we got a, we got a you, great bro. teacher, thank you. That's right. <laughs> Hopefully you're joining us at home too, doing this. Wish we could see you guys on the other side of I the know, screen. I know, it'd be so much more fun. <laughs> right? All right, three, two, all right. Matt, Anna, Sid, you know the drill. 
Get down to the mat push ups, okay? Oh, yeah. right. Got it. All right. Put time go. on the clock. All right, three, two. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Strong back on these. I want you to act like you have a plank on your back. Don't let those shoulders slouch. Whew. Oh, man. And that's why it's good to have a mirror, too, to be able to check the form. That is right on point. Okay, two more push ups here. Fit it into the time. Three, two, dead bugs. Flip over for me. Oh, we love dead bugs. <laughs> we love dead bugs, okay? Sure. 20 seconds right here. And this is, these are great moves too, because you could do these at any age. You can do this anywhere. So let's just say you're at work. You have, what, well, you have your lunch period. You have 10 minutes to work out. Think about this. High intensity, getting that heart rate up, burning more fat with these quick moves. Three, two. Somebody walked in on two. the office with me doing this, they'd laugh. <laughs> All right. All right. We need a lunch break. Hey, we got this. <laughs> All right, this is round Round three, so we're gonna push it real quick here, okay? You guys okay. are gonna stand up for me. You're gonna need a squat hold, okay? 20 seconds, we progressing it right here, oh, and we close boy. out. Three, two, all right. Oh, we're just standing right Let's here. Let's work. Just holding it. So what's the benefit just of holding, holding it? Holding a pose. And just... then off, right. And then if you wanna progress this move and you're at home, you take it to a wall. You give yourself a wall sit, flat back, and maybe add a child or a dumbbell, it doesn't matter. Or a all right, three, two, all right. Come up, lateral lunges to the side, knee drive. Okay, switch the other oh, side, 20 seconds right here. Okay, she changed it up. It's about to get intense. Changed it up, I told you. The last time we were gonna turn up the heat a little bit. And this helps our balance. Yep, working our balance and our core stability. So every move that you do is a core move. All right, we got three, two, all right, push-ups. Now on the way down, I want you to focus on a slow test to your mat, almost like a three, two, one, back up. Okay, right. 20 seconds here. <laughs> yes. Oh Have to give you guys options. <laughs> Go, Sid. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sid. Sid, you've got this, right? Knees on the ground, too. Three, two. <laughs> Wait, I think I'm gonna... All right, let's see if we can. All right, one more here. Uh, oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> And then Matt, Anna, and Sid, we've got one more move. The dead bugs will close it out here. If you're feeling funky, which I hope you are, we're gonna add the opposite arm extension oh, yeah. to that leg extension. Wait. Okay, three, two, <laughs> last 20 seconds. Make yourself proud. That's always what I tell Trinity squad members. This is like a test Make of yourself coordination. Proud. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> we all sweaty over there. We are moving. Oh Sid's over here doing air push-ups. <laughs> Ricky, I'm sorry. Right. I don't know what's going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Team, that is it. Air high five. Yay. Let's go. Ricky, thank you so much. Oh I think God. we need to take a quick sip of our... Our water, so you are phenomenal. Thank you so much, Rook, for this workout. I feel it out of bunch. I feel it in my abs, feel it yeah. in my back. Get all warmed up. There we go. That means it's working. Yeah. That means it's working. And again, just body weight workout. You just need not that much space. You can totally get moving. And movement really helps keep that mind aligned with the Lord and everything that you're working towards in your in your life. So you guys did phenomenal. Aw. Well, thank you so yeah, much, Brooke. Awesome. We love you so much, Brookie Trinity. We'll have a link on our website if you want to sign up, be part of the Trinity Squad, so we can feel really good through our mind, our body, and our soul. Thank you so much, Brooke. Oh, you're very welcome. So I think Matt, Ed, and I, we're going to go. Are we, we going to head back over? We need to head back yeah. over. <laughs> we have our water, stay hydrated. But I think it's just such a great thing is, 
you know, as Christians, as believers that we, I'm sorry, I'm like so out of breath. <laughs> yeah, take it. But it's just so great that, you know, Matt, that we are able to like exercise and having Christ in the center and feeling yeah. good. Right. Yeah, you know, I, I just think it's important. I always love, you know, kind of uh, matching the two together. You know, as much as we need it in the physical, how much more do we need in the spiritual? But it's hard work. You know, it's not something that you can just pick up. It, it just takes dedication, but most importantly, it takes consistency. And when there's consistency, then the work pay up, pays off. It shows. And I love what the scripture says, as man thinks in his heart, well, so is he. Well, that's what you become. So, man, when you're exercising your spirits, well, out of the outward, the results begin to show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the most important things whenever you are deciding that you want to get fit, that you want to get healthy is thinking about your why. Like so much of our world says, let's get fit and healthy so that we can put that bathing suit on and have the six pack abs or, you know, look really good for the people around us. But what if God wants us to be healthy, not only to feel good in our skin, but also to be able to go out in this world and fulfill the purpose that he gave us. Maybe you're a mom and you have all these little kids around you and I'm still out of breath too. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to be strong and healthy for the years ahead or maybe you are going out, you're in ministry or whatever your job, whatever the purpose is that God gave you, he wants you to be of clear, sound mind to have a strong body. And so figure out your why and then dedicate it to the Lord. I like that Anna was talking about figuring out our why. It's not for someone else or whatever it may be, but I think it's so important to be intentional. And you know, the one thing I love is just like, I know Matt, Anna and I, you know, mentioned it earlier, like whether you're like Matt and you want to try listening to sermons and devotionals or whatever music, or maybe it's just complete silence, but there's something beautiful about when we give our bodies, God created our bodies. Just think about that. Like he created us, he made our head, our arms, our abs, our legs, all of that. And to be able to give it all back to him, through working out is such a powerful, powerful thing. And so we're so glad that you joined us today on Hope Today. We are still, I think the three of us are out of breath. <laughs> We got our water here, but we just want to say thank you so much for joining us. And we hope that you, you know, joined in on the five-minute workout routine because it's so important that our mind, our body, our spirits are aligned with Christ, with Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and our Heavenly Father. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. Go see Jesus Revolution. We love you. Have a great day.